what I have right now is I've got my reproduction 1924 Henderson pipes here. And um, what I've done is, so I have two corks that I've put inside the drone, two of the drones, and the chanter. So the chanter's removed and two of the drones are removed because we're just going to do one drone. Um, we're going to do tenors first and then we'll do basses last. So I don't even have to worry about tuning the pipes because I can just there's just one just gonna be one drone, so you know no worries about it. So So um the first the first drone raid I have is a canning drone raid. The first tenor drone I have is a canning tenor drone read. Now you notice when I strike it up, it has two different stages. So the first stage, the thing that vibrates up and down, which is called the tongue, is kind of vibrating staccato on the body of the reed. So you know, da 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 da. And then when it kind of clicks over into a normal tone, which is the tone you get when you play with the chanter, um, it it's um, tapping legato on the body of the drum reed, so it's more like da 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 and the tone, harmonically, the tone, the tone of the reed changes quite a bit, so I'll let you hear it. That's the canning tanner drone reed. Now I'm going to look for my box of drone reeds here. If I can find the right box, first of all. <laughs> ah, here we go. So what I'll do is take the I need to unzip the bag here. And I'll take... I will take the canning drum read out. And the next <coughs> next drone read I have is a Shelby tenor drone read. So the next trunk. So the next tenor drone read I have is a Shelby tenor drone read. Now this one also has two stages. However, the first more or less kind of staccato stage is a lot flatter than the second normal legato stage. And don't worry Haley, I'm going to splice these recordings all together at the very end. Haley, I'm going to splice the recordings all together at the end so that the head-to-head -head comparison can be made more accurately. So anyway, here we go. Shelby ten sh So anyway, here we go. Shelby tenor drum read. That was a bad bag stop. Let me start up again. Yep. 
Alright. Selby. Or Shelby. I keep calling it, I keep wanting to call it Selby for some stupid reason. Put this. So, since the canning is the default tenor drum read that I use, I'm just going to put the canning down on the bed here. Yes, that's the canning. Okay. Those are chanter reads. I like drum reads. They're also chain reads, huh? Um, let's see here. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Now the okay. Just making sure that was a tenor read and not a bass. Now the third drone read I have is called a Crozier drone read. stages your drone read. Put this back in the container here. Hopefully I did not lose that wrench. Okay, there are a bunch of base reads in here, so we're gonna... Hmm, another canning. Huh. Mega, let's see, there's the Crozier. Actually, you know what? Let's see. That's the canning base. Cane base. One canning base. Crozier. The other Crozier. So, so that's turn read number three out of five.
So the fourth and penultimate drone read we have is an easy drone read. Easy E E drone. Now the easy drone read is the most popular tenor drone read that pipers like to use, probably because it's very, very loud. And unlike every other drone read I have here, easy drones have three stages. So it's the first legato stage or staccato stage, excuse me. And then the second stage is actually a really nice rattle that you get, and only easy drone reads. In the world of non-cane drone reads, easy drone reads are the only reads that have that really nice rattle there. And that rattle is also really sharp pitched. And then after the rattle is like the normal tone. So I'm gonna strike it e I'm gonna strike up the easy drone easy drone tenor read for you. So you can hear the different stages. You got that nice rattle there, don't you? So anyway, that's the Easy Drone Tenor. And... If I can find it here... The... The last tenor drone read is a Kinnard tenor read, and again, it has only two stages. The piece of tape that I had to flatten the drone read was actually closing it down, so it wouldn't sound. <laughs> Cool exclamation mark. I was literally just about to strike up my pipes, comma, when I heard the ringtone I have for you, which is Denise exclamation mark. <laughs> Who would have thought that Haley would have texted me? <laughs> so anyway, here we go, Kinner Kinner.
All right, so that is that's it for Tender Drone Reads, Haley. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to do base. All right, so. Now we're ready for base drum reads. So I'm removing the cork from the base drum, putting it in the tenor that I was doing. So right now in my pipes, I've got a canard base drum read. So this one has two stages as well. The, the base reads are particular in that the first stage is actually sharper than the second stage. So here we go. Canard bass. <sighs> Alright, so that's a Kinnard base. Taking the base read out. Oh boy, it's really loose. What the heck? You're not supposed to have loose reads in there. Um, I'm going to keep the Kinnard base in my pocket so that I know where to find it next time I want to put that base back in. Alright, so the next bass read I've got is a Crozier bass read. Again, two stages. First stage sharper than the second. Crozier base. I'm trying to do this in a hurry because Lizzie has a phone appointment at four o'clock, so do this really quickly here. Come on, bridal, move! I've got the easy drone bass read out, but I'm trying to, as, as hard as it is, this bridle is... So there's a band on the read that controls how much air it takes and the pitch of it, but you can also adjust the pitch another way, but that will also negatively adjust the tone. So, um... The bridle mainly adjusts the pitch without affecting the acoustic tuning of the drone read. Oh. Okay, so here we have an easy drone bass read. Now this just has the one stage.
too hard. So that's the easy drone bass for you. That's drone rig number three. I know I did have my canning bass drone rig somewhere. I'm gonna have to look for it because that's one of the drone rigs that I use. Ah, here we go. So this next drone reed is a canning base. Ah, crap! Did you hear that snap? Because I, um... It's super hard to put the drone in without being straight, so it's hard to, it's easy to slant it. And uh, with that, you kind of end up uh, plucking the vibrating part of the reed. <laughs> and usually with drone reeds that have hard plastic vibrators, that won't really be much of a problem, but the drone reeds that have soft, bendable plastic vibrators, like Easy Drones, what other drone reeds do that? Easy Drones, Cannings, Cannon Tenors, I mean, if you accidentally pluck them, you'll hit their bust, they're dead. So, anyway, Canning Base. I squeezed too hard so that made the drone reed stop. But that'll be okay, because when I'm playing the chanter, I know how hard I'm blowing, because the chanter reed changes pitch. So, alright. Very, very last drone reed in this head-to-head -head comparison is... a cane base drone reed. And keep in mind, Piper's in the record days, or maybe to put in better perspective, in Ravel's day, <laughs> all they had all they had were cane drone reeds. If I can find this cane reed, well, maybe it's, probably it's not in the right, I don't think I'm looking in the right box. Let me, I don't think I'm looking, I really don't think I'm looking in the right box. Let me find the other box, okay. Yeah, that'd be great. What, Lizzie? I hear, I can hear you from... I just have one more read to do. Oh, okay. Just one. Okay. I need to put some hemp around. Well, let's let me test the fit of this thing into the drone. If I can find a drone here.
test it first. Okay, here we go. So this one is a cane drone reed. And keep in mind, this is the only drone reed that people had until basically the 90s when non-cane drone reeds came out. And, non -cane, and cane drone reeds are very, very sensitive to the amount of moisture, so if they're dry, they won't work. They need to be moist in order to make a sound. So here we go, cane bass. Again, I squeezed too hard, so that made the drone reed stop. Again, I'll strike it up one more time. Crap, I lost the cork, but I'm done anyway. <laughs>